this was a um, one of the reasons why I'm doing this actually um, my best friend Tammy was loved loved Fiona and I bought this for her and she passed away two days before I could give it to her oh. and I promised her that I would continue this we were supposed to do it together and we were both um, gonna go on Social Security and we were gonna get vans and her van was gonna be named after her father Fred and my van was gonna be Charlie named after mine and that was our dream mm -hmm. we were we were gonna do this and we watched all the van videos and we planned we designed we did it all so um, I promised her that I would I would do it by myself mm -hmm. she made me promise that I would so so you got her with you So I keep keep her right in here in the very very beginning my friend and I my best friend Tammy and I were watching um, tiny house living and we were like amazed at these tiny little homes and we thought you know what when we're retirement age let's build a little retirement community so that was our thing for about a month you know about a month and then we switched over to oh my gosh did you see so and so on YouTube van life and we started following the van life and then of course my dad passes away and then I'm thinking I, I've hardly been anywhere. I wasn't traveling. I wasn't going any place. So Tammy and I started taking cruises. And we started traveling. I actually started, you know, traveling and seeing the world for the first time in the last five years. And then Tammy gets sick. My my best friend gets sick, and I promised her I would still do it. I would still travel. I would still go and see everything. She has a list of. Um, mountains and a list of um, state parks that she really wanted to see and so I'm gonna go see every single one of them for her yeah. and um, I'll go to the Cincinnati Zoo because she always wanted to go to the Cincinnati Zoo so that's basically how everything started but the first time I ever stayed the night oh by the way she's called the Wanda you know, mm -hmm. Honda and I um, I had a friend of mine build a, uh, a single bed and I stayed one night and it, I lasted maybe two hours. I was like a mess. I was, I couldn't breathe. It was July. I mean, who knew that July would be hot? And I was like a mess. And so I, I like, you know, went home and my mom sees me come in the door. And she goes, what are you doing back? And I go, I can't do it, mom. I can't do it. Well then, you know, I watch more videos and I find out that, wow, you need Reflectix on your windows. <laughs> you know, you need all this stuff. And I started slowly getting it all together and Next thing you know, finally, I have it all. It's I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready now to go out there. I want to go to Wyoming. I want to go. Yes. So I'm ready, and um, I have the bug. And so I went from a very, I wouldn't say boring, but I went from a very quiet, shy kind of, you know, reserved introvert, you know, to all of a sudden, I am meeting people and having the time of my life, like this meetup right here. I'm meeting people and everybody is so nice and I just, I could live, live in here. I could live in here. Yes, you I, could. I really could. Um, actually, we could stay just like this. My friend Diane's there. My friend Susan's right there. We're in this like little trio thing. Yeah. Every day I could do this. Every day. Yeah. I love it. I know you can. Cause I do. <laughs> you do. You do I know you, you know. can and I know you, yes. you can. <laughs> yes. And I am making new friends and it's just, it's just, it's a great lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Whether you have to do it because you have no choice mm -hmm. or just because you just love it. Yeah. It's hard for some people to understand. I get comments that say, oh, there it is again. What's wrong with America that our older women are now forced right. to live in a car know, or something? How do you feel about that? When someone says that to you, they feel sorry for you. Isn't that amazing? Because yeah. people were living in their cars 30 years ago and nobody seemed to care. Yeah. You know, now all of a sudden they care because we want to do it. Now it's fun. I don't think they understand how desperately we want to do it, how hard we work and years we plan to do it. It's not because we got kicked out. Exactly. We have this deep desire to Absolutely. get out there. Absolutely. People are at home right now just, you know, cleaning the floors. Watching TV. You know, it's, yeah. it's great. That part of it's great. Um, you know, that's okay. I love my TV time. But this is uh, different. Time goes so fast, though. Mm hmm it's amazing when I wake up here and just next thing I know it's time to go to bed. I know. Like, where'd the time go? You leave a meet up with all a bunch of new sisters. You know, oh, a new exactly. whole new family. Exactly. It's it's a good lifestyle and I and I actually wanna I wanna travel in the Wanda 
for longer periods of time. Do you ever plan on being full time? Yes, that you was, do. That's my goal. Oh, good. Yeah, everything's ready now except for the money. Yes, it's expensive. But you've got a YouTube channel. I know, and if my <laughs> YouTube channel gets a little better, you know, I get more. So everybody, go subscribe to her yes. YouTube channel. And it's doing Links very below. Well. It's doing very yes, well. it is. Yeah. So if you do type it in, type in out on a limb with Kim K Y M. If you leave the with Kim off. You might not find it because mm -hmm. Shirley MacLaine went and did a movie called Out on a Little <laughs> Famous. So until I'm, you know, more popular than she is, that's going to happen. <laughs> but, but there yeah. will be a link, a correct link below oh, to her channel. You. Yeah. Yeah, you have a fun channel. Oh, thank you. I like to be real about things. I don't, you know, if I mess up and burn something, you're going to see it. Each trip can be different. So I've been in, um, I've stealth camped in nursing homes, hospital parking lots, hotel parking lots. Of course, the Cracker Barrel and those kind, but um, I'm thinking about a funeral home. I'm thinking about mm. how quiet that should be at night. Yeah. You know? Finding a funeral home and trying that. I even I even stayed the night in my son's storage unit. I'm definitely much better at it now. I will sometimes hear a noise and I'll freeze. And the first thing I'll think of is bear. Even if I'm in the city, bear, <laughs> alligator. You know, and, th and then I'm serial killer. But you know what I figured? There isn't one thing that could happen to you when you're traveling that couldn't have happened to you anywhere else you were. And I'm usually always in flight mode. Mm. You know, so when I'm stealth, I am ready. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is turn that car on and fly away. Mm -hmm. So that's why I do not sleep in the nude like some people do. They do it. I'm in whatever I'm in. I want to be able to step outside, you know, and face a police officer. If mm -hmm. he wants me to, I'm not going to be in a... You know, can you imagine a little negligee getting out? So, have you been to very many meetups? I went to the 100 woman, woman, no, 100 women meetup in December mm -hmm. here at the same park. Um, and that was very, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first time that I met Susan and Diane was at that, at that meetup. Um, and what else? That's it. This is my second meetup. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm planning another one. Um, through butterfly tracks mm -hmm. i am going to the one in georgia oh good and that i'm really looking forward to because of the pool i mean who would have thought that i'd want to go camping and to get into a pool <laughs> but i do i have a pool yeah that that's gonna be a nice one that'll be fun i do want to do rtr yeah i actually did a video on should i get a dog uh -huh. and um i had decided not to but i'm back to now thinking about getting a dog mm -hmm. i want to go to the rescue and see if i can find a little tiny one yeah that really needs it's me and somebody that'll sleep with me. Mm -hmm. I love sleeping with you know the dogs. I miss it so much. I've had yeah. four dogs in the last five years and they're just all gone. I miss the dogs. So yeah. Much. This is usually how I get into my SUV. Uh huh. So what I'm going to do is I'll go around the other side and you can come in this way. So I'll meet you on the other side. Okay. Ta -da. So this is my bed. <laughs> It is on a wooden platform that a friend of mine built. And I'll roll this up real quick because this is my favorite part. I roll this up at night like this. And I hook it and I put my laptop, my keyboard, all my paperwork, and this is where I work from right here and I sit right there. So that's one of the reasons why I did not take out my seat. A lot of people take out a seat, but I needed my seat in there. This is my solar panel. And this does go like this. See how oh, it folds up? Oh, yeah. So you can actually put your seat back. and So you can undo everything you and can. make it a car again. Yep, I can take everything out. And this thing right here is so nice. A friend of mine built this for me. And that's a piano hinge on yeah, that, it wasn't does, it? Too. Yeah. And just mommy bedding. I have a two inch foam mattress. And then I have a bunch of padding and comforters and stuff. And it's let me see very comfortable. a two inch foam there. this is just like a mattress pad oh yeah it was a doubled yeah and i just doubled it over like this that looks comfortable it is it's, it's all i need nice comforter i have a cooling blanket also that i use in the summer and i keep it in here uh-huh this is all my extra blankets and it, stuff right here this is probably one of my favorite things for the summer because it doesn't matter how hot you are in the car as soon as you lay this on top of you, it's like a, like you feel this silky feeling. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you can touch it right now and it's cold. It is. It really is. Now, when it gets really hot, 
I put it in my refrigerator. Oh my gosh, it's like silk. Yeah. So uh, Arc Chill makes this one, and of course it's on Amazon where everything is, and I love it. So I keep my little bed like this, put this here. And I do have another blanket down here. And of course I have everything, I have a, what's it called, an attic up on my roof here. It's attached to the two back seat handles and then the two front seat handles. And it does tighten up a lot better because like right now it's saggy. That's only because I put a lot of stuff in it, you know, at night. So I have a knife, <laughs> I have a, a fan. My pajamas are always right here. My medicine's always up top. I have an emergency rain kit up here that has everything just in case I have to get out of the car on the dirt road or the police pull me over or something happens that I have a kit ready for the rain. And so that all stays up there. I have some lights. I used to have the fairy lights that everybody have. They, you know, they have all those fairy lights around their mm -hmm. vehicle, but I can't do that because of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> you get I caught was, in it, didn't like it? pulling them out like mm -hmm. at night and stuff. So yeah, it's very, I slept so well last night. I love this bed. This piece right here is just for a pillow. It's another pillowcase. It came with two pillowcases. So I just put the, uh, like a two inch foam in there and I just put this here for padding. Mm -hmm. That's all. And of course, here's my toilet paper that I use for my headrest. Okay, cool. Dual, dual purpose. Yeah. And I have my laptop bag right there, which I do not use as a laptop. Mm -hmm. I use that for uh, makeup or washing my face or, um, you know, you fold it down and I do all my, you know, stuff. Nice. Yeah. And then I have my fan, my Cooney fan, which I love. The plus <clears throat> is it will run forever. The negative is it takes so long to charge, but it's worth it because I turned it on at seven and turned it off at nine this morning. But here's my Lucy light. Those are great. Yeah, Lucy lights are wonderful. Stick, yeah. it, stick it in the... Uh, we'll have links below in the solar. description. Heats it up during the day and you just turn it on at night. And of course I have a lantern, backup lantern. Mm -hmm. I don't use a lot of light because it brings in bugs. Mm -hmm, I know people yeah. like to light up their area, but I don't like to light up my area. My power, that's my Jaffery 1000, and I hook up my refrigerator only to that. So okay. that just runs my refrigerator. In the winter, it will take care of an electric blanket, mm -hmm. but then I have to make sure I charge it. And I do have solar, and they're hidden kind of like behind my bed over there. <laughs> right. Oh, and that little area right there, mm -hmm. that is my potty station. Everything you need. So I have two of these for the female. This is an extra bottle if I drank too much the night before. This one's discontinued and this is my favorite. They made these for actually uh, children mm -hmm. on Amazon, but they're not available anymore. Yeah, this one's definitely online. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. And this is pretty nice because it even has a stopper. You know, so you don't have to worry about it if you drop it. And then of course I have my wipes and then I have my, oh, my pads. I use these instead of, uh, Toilet paper. Yeah. And I love these biodegradable thingies so you don't have to have toilet paper all over the place. Yeah. So I use these and I wash them out in the morning. That's what they're for. Yep. And they're yeah. they're meant to be anti yeah. bacterial yes. and all that yes. sort of thing. Yes. Right. Silver um, infused or something. Yeah. A lot of backpackers use them. You yeah. thing right here. Yep. And they fold and, and then you wash them. Right. And then of course I have a pink discreet bag, which I put everything in as I go to the restroom to clean everything out so nobody mm -hmm. knows what I'm doing. Right. This right here is pretty cool. And this holds all my stuff for the potty on this side. It's a between the car seat Between the holder. front seats, yeah. Yeah, thing. Flashlight, you know, there's just... Things you need to grab. Everything. Emergency bags. Lysol. <laughs> Behind the Jackery, under the seat, is my potty. It's one of those collapsible black, you know, potties. Yeah. And that's what I use for emergencies, which I try not to but right of course you know when you're on the road you gotta go you gotta go yeah so that's what I use and when I'm done I actually put mine my uh you know stuff wrap it in a bag and I put it in a travel diaper genie remember the big diaper genies oh when yeah the kids were little? yeah well this is a travel one and it's the same thing and you just push it down just like the diaper until you get to a safe place to... and this right here is my kitchen this is my kitchen, which I love my kitchen. And then I open it like this. And I store down here. I usually put my um, my mats that I have over there on the ground. I put those down there and I have my 
this is the reflectance for the side. And then I have another one for the back window. I hide them in there. The kitchen stuff. This is a collapsible kitchen dryer. Uh, my burner stove. Mm -hmm. One where it goes in here, but I have all my kitchen stuff in here. Oh, because I'll show you where my burner is. My burner stove. And then we pull this out. And that right here's where I keep my stove and some of my dishes. And then we pull this out. It comes out again. Oh, I love it. And there's the sink. And this is collapsible. It goes right down in there. So it can be deeper than what you're showing yes. there? Yes, yes. It actually goes deeper. It's a little drawer here for utensils. I love it. Oh. And this is under $400, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. And it allowed me to pull all my kitchen stuff out from under here and put it all in here. Because mm -hmm. I load up this right here. I have a cutting board up right here. And actually, I used it this morning for the first time. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you just got it. Yeah. We do have to actually get it strapped in better because it, it came with they come with straps mm -hmm. and you're strapped you're supposed to strap it all the way down through here and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah and then i have my little mini dash oven um i think it's most of them are 350. i think it is yeah yeah i tried it on my jack 240 the other night and it it wouldn't work so you definitely need a higher oh higher probably one. even 350 wouldn't work on a 240. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But usually it's just to heat stuff up. Yeah. You can do toast and like heat soup up. I put yucca fries in there, four yucca fries and mm -hmm. cooked them up. And um, I like it, it's quick. Yeah, yeah. And this is my little, new little pig greasy guy. Because mm -hmm. I do bacon grease and I like to reuse the bacon grease. Mm -hmm. and, and you've got a strainer in there, I saw that. Yeah, show them that I strainer, think. that's cute. And this thing is under six And it's silicone. Yes. And then of course I have my favorite, my Astro AI refrigerator which I love this is my probably my favorite purchase because food I keep salmon in here mm -hmm. cream cheese Ooh, I love that. and I put my eggs in here mm -hmm. and I put bacon and it usually my Jackery 1000 we usually run this for four days four days yep. oh I keep back here you know out of the sun back here I usually uh keep my fire extinguisher back there some lights my bag for my laundry of course now i like to put my plastic bags back here so they won't blow down the highway mm -hmm. good i have a walking stick i keep back there this is the little area where everybody like hangs out so it was a christmas gift from my mom and this is on amazon and it is like 85 dollars uh -huh. it was a great great price and it's easy to put up these tent poles, um, a friend of mine let me use her tent poles here. They're, they're stronger. Mm -hmm. It's got a, a nice screen window because it does yes. come down far, which is yes. still good because whatever the angle of the sun, it probably helps a lot. And I actually like it without poles because it tucks in everything. In here like this and you can really kind of change and you can like yeah. have a little bit of privacy. You're right. And all these chairs and stuff you see all goes on the rooftop storage box I fit it all in there it's a double chair um, this is my dry goods I used to carry them in a cooler but that cooler was so heavy you know that's my dry goods and that's this is a five below chair mm -hmm. five, five bucks and mm. this was big lots 29.99 yes it was so cheap but it also it ripped mm, yeah. that's okay I'll deal with it for $30 and then I have the red camp a lot of people have a red camp table uh, they yeah. do um, three different feet. They have three different feet, so it can come this high here and then this low. All right. And they're stored under here. The nice. legs are right underneath. A company sent me from Canada. They're called off-roading gear, mm -hmm. and I am doing a review for them for okay. this. So, so I have, look I'm for that on Kim's that. channel. Yeah, I'll be doing that soon. Now in front, I have a rain bag. If I'm stuck in the car. For a long time, I have a rain bag, which is games, books, a Kindle, coloring books. I can read. Um, I have some cards in here, a light in case I lose, like, not electricity, but, if, you know, just in case I'm in the dark. And 
in case I'm in the dark. Mm -hmm. I have cards. I have everything. So this is just for rainy day. Just if I'm stuck in here. I've only used it once, but I love it. Yeah. Toolkits that I keep in the front. I keep these down there in a little cubby hole. Uh, do you have roadside service? I do. I have AAA. AAA. Yes. Okay. And I have used it before. I've locked my keys in my car twice. Mm -hmm. No, actually, I just have my keys. And on here, I have a uh, a pick. Case, yes. You know. They call it a Kubaton. Yeah. I have six of these yeah. all around my vehicle inside. It's got a gripper. Maybe, you know, just. Yeah. Protection. And here's my, my Yeti. Yes. It's also one of my best things. I filled this with ice Sunday morning. Still full of ice. Mm. So. And today is Tuesday. Yes. This is 32 ounces. Sunday morning. And so I always carry my ice in here. I have my That's for your drinks. Jackery 240. Mm -hmm. I always keep between the seats, and this is for charging my cell phone and my laptop. Mm -hmm. Emergency water. If somebody says, hey, Kim, let's go on a hike. I said, oh, okay. And I'm ready. All right. And I usually have protein bars and stuff in here, and wipes mm -hmm. and stuff, and I just take this with me. So this is full of water. And then I keep all my clothes on the driver's seat because that's the only part I don't use when I'm at a meetup. The driver's side. So all my clothes are over there, and then when I get on the road, I just take them and put them in that seat behind me. Mm -hmm. And that's where they sit. Shower bag. I actually have like major shower bag when you have to do the whole thing. Or you have the little teeny one where you're just going to brush your teeth and wash your face. This is first aid, Tom's baby powder, anything that you might need. Just to... So what do you keep up there in your rooftop box? Oh, well, I keep a double chair, two single chairs, I keep my red camp table. So it's pretty much the things that are out here go they're, up they're there? more up there. Right now there's a uh, big tent mm -hmm. that I, if I'm by myself, I will set up where I can get inside and dress. You know, then there's like shower. Oh, a privacy tent? Privacy tent. My um, electrical cords are up there for if I'm at a campground. Those are up there. Extra uh, pee bottles <laughs> are up there. I have a bag of um, like nothing but bungee cords and things like that in case something happens, like mm -hmm. I can fix things for mm -hmm. the car. And then that's it. Yeah. And then, Very nice. Yeah. Sure. Tammy was always the passenger oh. in my car. Yeah. So I put her little thing right here. Oh, how nice. She was always on that side. Nice. Yeah.